Should remove my gum, shouldn't I? Yeah. Focus on me. What about me? Cool. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video with Create and Go. My name is Alex Nerney and we're gonna talk today about if your logo actually matters when it comes to blogging. Today's video, I want to be a little bit different because normally our videos are like 15, 20 minutes, but, but it can be answered in like a really short amount of time. So I just wanna go ahead and answer this question. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I saw it back in our private support and community group. Uh, somebody asked us, how much does your logo really matter? And there were a bunch of answers from, yeah, of course it does. Look at all these massive companies where their logo does matter. And then some other people saying, no, it doesn't at all. And I wanted to give you our answer Answer to this question. The easy way for me to actually give you this answer is to just talk about our experience with it. The first blog that we had successful, as many of you know, is our health and wellness blog called avocado.com. Avocado is really designed as like a health and weight loss website for women. For those of you that don't know, we took that website to making over 20 grand per month uh, where it currently sits today. And just so you know, we have never ever designed any sort of logo for that website. In fact, I think that Lauren just found the, um, the font that we use, just found a cool font called Trash Hand Online, wrote out the words avocado, turned it into a PNG, and that has been our logo ever since. So it's gonna be hard for me to sit here and tell you that your logo matters when we didn't need it to take our blog to making over you know, 200 grand per year. The same goes with Create and Go. Create and Go started the same thing, same exact logo, same uh, font for a while. Again, the reason was is, I mean, we were already successful without using a logo, why would we go and get a logo, right? Well, now today we actually have a logo designed and you'll notice that it's not really complicated at all. I think it's just, it's a nice put font with like even just a little arrow uh, at the create and go mark. I think it's important for me to address this because I went to business school at Arkansas and it was the Sam Walton School of Business, so the Walmart, essentially, School of Business. And there it was taught to me, like it has probably been taught to you and ingrained in your brain, that logos matter, that your branding really, really matters. And I gotta say it, they're just kinda wrong. It's not that branding doesn't matter, it's that people start with branding, and that's the mistake. Because there are so many steps, so many hurdles in your journey to being successful online. And I gotta tell you, the step of getting down an amazing logo is way, way, way far out in your journey. You need to first figure out how to write great blog posts. You need to figure out how to create an amazing product, how to sell affiliate products, how to get good at email marketing, how to create amazing sales pages that actually convert people from visitors to customers. These things are infinitely more important than having a great logo. Only once you have solved all of these problems and more should you ever even think or consider getting some sort of high quality or, or amazing designed logo. As far as big companies using branding, like people will refer to Apple, you know, or McDonald's, they have iconic logos. Guys, they didn't have iconic logos until they were successful. What I'm saying by this is you have the most beautiful, elegant, sexy logo of all time and if your content doesn't, is not relevant to them, they're not gonna give a shit. The truth is, is that branding and logos and beautiful website design is kind of overrated as it comes to blogging. What more matters of blogging is the message that you're sharing and how well you're sharing it. So especially if you're a beginner, guys, especially if you're starting out, your logo and your design and overthinking all of this process is not a smart way to start. Think about it later on, once you've designed amazing products, once you've uh, turned tons of your readers into customers. Only then think about, okay, let's look at my branding, let's look at my design, let's try to get a font. So guys, that's my conclusion on the subject. This is not something you need to be concerned with until much, much further down the road. I hope you liked this short video, guys. We're gonna do more like this in the future because I wanna answer your questions. I don't want every single video on Create and Go to be like some sort of 20 minute um, episode or novel of me just ranting and rambling. So I hope you like this one. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you're feeling really compelled to do it, subscribing is always pleased and appreciated. And all right, guys, I will see you on the next lesson. Oh, wait, 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 before we go, I do wanna show you this view. How beautiful is this. We are out in San Carlos uh, at my sister's boyfriend's house and it is just spectacular. Now it's really hard to get to and that's why it's not like more popular of a place uh, but once you get here 
It is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys.